Hi traders and welcome to this Pepperstone presentation where we address some of the classic trading mistakes to avoid. Most traders have made them, but it is important to understand what they are in order to overcome these important hurdles to give yourself the best chance of trading success. In this lesson, we will learn about maintaining discipline and not allowing market noise to influence your trading decisions. We will look at opportunities that look too good to be true. You must be aware of these opportunities and really avoid them at all costs. We will look at fear and greed and allowing greed to dictate expectation and being fearful of taking a loss. And finally, we will look at the never wrong syndrome, a real problem with traders, especially when they first start out. Some of the most successful people in the world are investors and traders, but they didn't just get there because they were lucky, as luck can only hold you up for a certain amount of time. Most successful traders have amazing discipline to execute their trading plan and make smart decisions. Remember that not every trade you place is going to work out, but what will make you successful is how you handle the losses and downtimes, because the good times will take care of themselves. The key is to ensure that you maintain the discipline to follow through with your trading plan. Although allowing emotional involvement can have a positive impact in many aspects of life, trading is not one of them. In fact, the key to becoming a successful trader is to try to keep your emotion completely out of any part of your trading decisions. Some of the biggest issues that traders have when it comes to trading psychology generally play out in the same fashion and can be attributed to a handful of undesirable behaviours. One of these is the too good to be true mentality. One of the biggest pitfalls of trading is getting caught up in the hype of someone else's system that promises unrealistic returns, which often leads to risk management going out the window. These often require unacceptable leverage and risk, which can destroy accounts very quickly if left unchecked. If these systems seem too good to be true, then they generally are and it is best to avoid them and create your own strategies and ideas that allow for the correct risk management as this is one of the most important parts of trading. Greed is an emotion that traders don't believe they are affected by. These traders will set unrealistic goals because they will try to take out of the market what they want rather than what is achievable. More often than not, this type of attitude leads to traders not taking profits at the correct areas because they haven't made enough money or they want that little bit more out of their trade. Fear of taking a loss is another emotion that creeps up on traders without them knowing it until it's too late. It generally comes in the form of not wanting to take a loss on that trade because they are afraid of losing money. The never wrong syndrome is a trap that many traders fall into and refusing to take a loss rather than using a stop loss to mitigate risk. These traders will often let their losses run in the hope that the market will turn around. This being the case, if you find yourself wishing and hoping at any stage of a trade, you should consider closing your position immediately. You may have heard of the saying that you must spend money to make it, and in a sense, trading is no different. As we mentioned earlier, you will not make money on every trade you place, so you must be able to deal with the fact that some trades will simply not work out. In this lesson, we have learned about maintaining discipline and not listening to the market noise that can influence the decision making process. We learned to be aware of opportunities that seem too good to be true, as they generally are. We learned about not allowing greed to dictate your trading expectations and being fearful of taking a loss. And finally, we learned about the never being wrong syndrome, where traders refuse to accept a market move and do everything they can to make the trade a success, to the detriment of their strategy.